What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at it again with another video, and we got some unfortunate news, man. This you, uh, you can't make this up. Apparently, reports are circulating right now that CM Punk may have suffered an injury in the Royal Rumble match. Oh my goodness, bro! You can't make this up. We're gonna check this out. It's all over Twitter right now. It, it, he's CM Punk is trending right now, and not for a good reason. No, obviously it's no backstage brawl, but him getting injured again so soon. Oh my jeez, this is this is not looking good at all. We're gonna pull this up by Wrestle Op. So we're gonna go through the tweets in order. CM Punk. Uh, suffered a significant injury during the Royal Rumble this past weekend within the uh, the WWE. The speculation was a torn tricep. H his exact injury was unconfirmed by those in WWE uh, past many confirming the injury in that as of right now, the plan is to have him on the show from, uh, from Tampa for Monday Night Raw to address the nature of the injury. There was a spot in the Rumble where the referee checked on Punk and he told the ref, my tricep. Good. Oh, my God, bro. Oh. There's another tweet. PW Insider has confirmed that CM Punk suffered a torn triceps during the men's Royal Rumble match and is believed to be heading towards uh, surgery after an, after an appearance on tonight's Monday Night Raw in Tampa. Oh, no. This is... You you can't make this up, bro. A review of the Royal Rumble match shows that CM Punk may have been injured taking a DDT from Drew McIntyre. Punk rolled, uh, rolled out of the, the ring holding his left arm uh, following that spot. Punk suffered, a, suffered a, a torn tricep of his right arm while performing for AEW. So this would be a new injury, not a re uh, reoccurrence of a previous injury. So in AEW, he suffered a torn tricep from on his right arm. And now in WWE, he suffered a torn tricep on his left arm. You, bro. Bro, this is just... <sighs> the belief among sources we have spoken with is that Post-surgery, CM Punk will likely need uh, in the area of four to six months of recovery and physical therapy. Well, that's it. That's it. Not only is Seth Rollins hurt, now CM Punk is hurt. Oh, man, that's it. Well, it's safe to say it's going to be Gunther versus Seth Rollins. Oh, my goodness, bro. You can't make this up. Now it makes sense why he was kind of moving the way he did towards the last interaction with uh with Cody Rose. He he probably was in a lot of pain. And if they're saying the spot where he got hurt was him uh taking a DDT from Drew McIntyre, that explains why that la them being the last two, it wasn't as impactful, I think, as a lot of people wanted. Because Cody looked fine, but it looked like CM Punk was kind of, you know, Kind of moving a little bit slower than you would think. It wasn't as fast paced. It makes sense now. He was legit injured. He was legitimately injured. Ah oh, man. That's crazy. That. So I mean. Then you can start to ask a question. Did they call an audible? Did they call an audible? Was CM Punk originally still supposed to win the match? Did they call an audible? Because if he's already, if he knows something's not right, he knows something's torn potentially, then it wouldn't make sense for CM Punk to win. Because guess what? He's not going to be in the Royal Rumble. I mean, he's not going to be able to make it potentially. Granted, you don't know at the time, but, you know, maybe that could have been a thing they called an audible. Who knows? Because if he's talking to one of the refs during the match, I'm sure they said something in the back, hey, Punk's injured. Because you don't want someone that they know is injured to win it because you don't know how long that timetable of, you know, surgery and healing will take. So it's just one of those type of things where maybe they did call an audible. Maybe CM Punk 
was supposed to win. He got hurt. They told someone in the back, Triple H in the back, what's going on, and they called an audible. Because it seems as if they were supposed to be the last two regardless. I don't know. But this is really unfortunate. Really, really unfortunate. And I know some of the AEW hardcore fans are just, just going to be laughing it up. It's lame. If you're one of those individuals, and if you come to this video talking about you're happy that CM Punk got injured, I'm banning you from commenting on the video. I don't care who, what company you rock with. I am never going to be okay with the injury of any wrestler because it's lame. It's, it's lame as hell. So if you come to this video talking about, yes, CM Punk is hurt, you're getting blocked from commenting on any of my future videos. I'm not even going to go back and forth with you. You're getting blocked. Simple as that. It's, it's messed up. This is this is truly awful. You can, oh my God. So we're not going to get Seth and CM Punk. We're going to have to wait down the line to get that because they both got injured. But it also leads to question the, I guess, CM Punk's like physicality. This is, bro, he's been injured so many times within the past few years. This is not looking good. I don't know if his body can hold up like that. I'm being dead serious. And I want to see CM Punk have a good run in WWE, but I don't know if he can physically. Not just because he can't go out there and deliver, but physically, if his body is breaking down this re this much, it's not a good sign. So I don't know. This sucks. This is oh man. <laughs> That, oh my god you come back to wwe after 10 years only to get injured in the same match you left 10 years ago good god bro comment down below let me know y'all thoughts and opinions on this whole situation um where do y'all think they're gonna take the feud with seth rollins i think the only logical reasoning would probably be gunther now for it i think it's definitely not gonna happen it's going to be very interesting to see what happens on Monday Night Raw. But, uh, yeah, man, y'all let me know how y'all feel about this whole situation, man. This is this is tough. I'm wishing Punk a speedy recovery. And uh, we'll see how things play out for Monday Night Raw uh, tonight. But I appreciate all the love and support. Road to 150K. I'm still young, speedy YouTube wrestling champ of the world. Appreciate y'all kicking it with me. See you on the next one. Peace.